Hello there guys, and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. Yeah, um, it's kind of been a while. You guys may be surprised that I'm actually back this soon. Yes, I did find the problem to my game, what was going on and stuff like that. So, for those who are having the same problem as me, or were having the same problem as me, turns out it was a mod called Investable Lots. If you have that mod, I would just delete all of them out of your mods folder, get rid of it, that was the whole problem I had with not being able to buy the resorts and stuff like that. So if you have that problem, now you know. Also, the reason I haven't really had time to upload or anything like that is because I have a real job in real life now. Whoa, crazy, I know. Um, and it takes up like four hours of my day and it's summer so I'll like sleep in until like 12 or 1 and then I go to work at 3 so it doesn't really give me a large space to record, you know. So yeah, um, that's why I haven't really been uploading, but here I am trying to find a little bit of space to actually get on here and record you guys a video. It's been too long and I've missed you guys, so yeah. And um, there are also a few things I would like to show you guys. Obviously, I did a little um, changing to the house. If you guys see the exterior, it used to be blue, I made it orange. I don't know if anybody else, any other LPers or Simmers made their house orange, but you know what, I don't care. Because I, I like the orange color. I like it. And I'm going to keep it. Oh, snap. Did she change her bathing suit color? Or did I make it like that? Oh, I think I made it like that. Never mind. I was about to say, mm, girl, I don't like that. But I like it. It's fine. Um. Also, I added curtains around the house because we had a little bit of extra money when I moved them back into this house. Because, again, as you guys know, I was having problems before. And I thought maybe if I moved them in and back out, it would work. No, but... Turns out the process gave me some money to work with, so yeah. I added some curtains and some fun stuff like that, and yeah, let's see. Let's just get into the gameplay because I'm taking too long to talk. He works in four hours. Okay, well, that was fast. He works in four hours. Yay, we'll finally actually be able to see the lifeguard career. As for Genesis, I want her to head over to the resort. As I told you, when we moved our sims, we did have a little bit of extra money and I kind of tried to work with what we had and I gave our resort like an extreme makeover. I did a lot of changes. I just sold one of the, um, what was it called? The all-in-one bathroom. Someone told me to do that. I sold that. Give me 4,500 simoleons. Sold a random bathtub that was here. Sold random things that didn't look like they were supposed to be on a resort lot and hey, Turns out it worked out well because it gave me a lot of money, enough to do this, recolor everything, and, you know, change things around. So we'll start with, well, you know, I'll just show you guys real quick. I made these two houses, or buildings, match, and this one, I just recolored it. I kind of liked the whole beach shabby look. I thought it was realistic. I've been to places that actually look like that, and I thought it was fitting. Um, up here, I eventually plan to do, like... A dance area maybe we'll put like a stereo have sims come up here and dance at a dance floor um, over here I extended the buffet added two more buffet tables and then just added extra sitting areas with some colorful you know little cushions because again that's how tropical places do they go overboard and then in here yes I know fancy fancy is the fancy eating area kind of like the more formal I added the table and the chairs that came with Monte Vista I'm pretty sure just changed the walls to some brick added different lighting I've been really into wall lights which you guys will probably see in this a lot a lot and then over here you enter through here and you go into the lobby I recolored this as well gave it different wallpaper Recolored the seating area, added curtains, changed this area. Um, in a lot of places in foreign countries, when they're trying to be fancy, they use this type of lighting, you know, like the wired lighting. And I also thought that was as well fitting. Um, I found this painting and I thought it was really cool. It showed off the world and stuff like that. And so I tried to make the carpet in here match. Someone must have peed themselves. That is disgusting. Genesis, come here, you'll clean that up. Um, didn't really change this area too much. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this just yet. Eventually I may change it to a bar, like add stairs here, put a little bar here. Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't, not sure. And then I just recolored the bathrooms, nothing too fancy. And it seems like we're gonna need Havon here after he cooks our sims some breakfast. because it looks like some repairs are already necessary. My goodness. And a lot of people are already here at the resort as well. So over here, we just have this um, 
food and drink thing where someone can come buy stuff. Eventually I plan on adding a pool with a slide and a diving board and the in-pool bar, but of course I cannot do that yet because we have no money, but eventually I will. I added these two seats that actually came, or you know, lawn chairs, that came with Island Paradise. I love these actually, I like the shape and stuff like that. They look, I don't know, cooler than the ones that already came in game. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did. Um, what sucks about these buildings over here, I thought we were going to be able to change them in buy mode with the, you know, color slots and stuff like that, but we can't. I don't understand that. Like, we can only change from three different color schemes. Like, there's this one, and then there's this one. I don't like that, so I'm just going to stick to my variation two color scheme, try to live with that. Wait, did it just... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, no, it didn't change. I was about to say, I swear I was hallucinating for a sec. Um, and then you come back here. I didn't really change anything on the inside of the room. All I really did was change the exterior, and yeah, that is just about it. I still have to move that dumpster. Yes, I know, that is very disgusting. I will move it eventually, I just don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Maybe I'll just delete it overall, because that's really random, but I thought it was kind of realistic, because they had to put their garbage somewhere, right? So anyway, um, she wants to own a three-star resort, we can queue that in the lifetime wish thing. And apparently, our resort made 300 simoleons. Awesome! So we're gonna collect that. I forgot to mention, I did record a part before this and I didn't like how it came out. Probably should have mentioned that before because I did a few things. Um, I did rename our resort if you guys didn't see the name that was there before, but it is called the Cruise Caravansary. Don't know how to pronounce that. If you know how to pronounce that, comment below how that would be pronounced because I don't know how to say that. But I went on uh, thesaurus.com, typed in hotel, and I just wanted to find a word that started with C that meant the same thing because, I don't know, it flows, cruise, however the heck you pronounce the other part. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the upgrades I did, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and I had Bryn scuba dive a little, or not scuba dive, she was snorkeling to get her scuba diving skill up, and she's almost at level 3. I didn't really realize she had done that much scuba diving that day. But yeah, we can probably actually, yep, we can actually go scuba diving now, which is awesome. So we'll have her do that in a little bit, but first, Genesis needs to get here. She's already here? Oh, well, that was fast. And I, really, really, she's just gonna lay down right in the middle of this thing and just sit there. Okay. Okay, girl, you can do that. First thing I want to do, let's see, let's read some of the reviews and see what we can improve on. I know people like to complain about the food that we serve or something. But whatever, we're a two-star resort. Okay. I was so bored. The bar would really add life to the place. Or it would just add a whole bunch of drunk alcoholics, but okay. For a while, I couldn't find my children when we went to the buffet. Turns out they snuck out to find something to eat. It's not my fault you can't take care of your kids. Um, I could not get fully into the island mood at this resort. Um, I can use some more trees and greenery. That I can work on. There's a lot of free plants. Again, we're cheap, so we need them free plants. Du -du -du. But eating at the buffet- well, these people are rude! Oh my god, okay, the food can't be that bad. It's normal quality. Okay, fine, you know what? Set food quality. Medium upkeep. Set food quality. Medium. Set food quality. Medium. There. People can't complain now. What is this? See? Very nice quality food. And we'll set the food type. It is morning, so we'll set for breakfast. Over here, we'll set food type. Oh, so I'll just set one for every time of day. And dinner. Maybe eventually I'll add like another one right here and make it dessert. I think I can do that now, actually. I don't think the tables are too expensive. Let me see. How much are these tables? I just want to know the pro oh three nope <laughs> we're gonna save our money it's okay we'll survive without it there so we upgraded the food another thing I know to do is upgrade the quality of the let's see let's hire a new person at the front desk because apparently our worker is never here 
Well, there's Colette, Jeannie, and Rodrigo. Oh my gosh, I love Rodrigo. Him and his blonde weave. I'm taking that. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh god. I've been hanging out with um the Alejandro Familia way too much. Just weave has become a permanent part of my vocabulary. Anyway, set shifts for front desk. Let's see, what do we have? All the shifts. Dang, that's a lot of money to upgrade that, but whatever. We'll keep it. Um, resort management. Assign resort uniform for all. We'll go with the beach style. Because I've seen the other ones, and some of the other ones are kind of weird, so we're going to keep the beach one. It's very plain, very nice fitting for the theme of our plane resort. Uh, let's see. Stay resort pricing. Close resort. Manage maintenance crew. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So what we're going to do is I'm going to change this to one person under here. And then I'll just look at our expenses. Uh, view resort finances. So yeah, we're making some money at least. We're making... Uh, it's okay. Beach Resort Tower. I don't actually even know what this is. I'm assuming it's these two little buildings here. Hmm. The buffet has cost a lot of money to upkeep. But we're paying this guy this much? Really? And Island Bellhoppers. How do I... What? Stay resort pricing. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to change the stay pricing yet just because our resort isn't that great. We don't have that many amenities. But other than that, it looks like a lot of people are having their fun here. Um, Bryn. I'm going to have actually the whole family head on down here. So go here with Havon and Joseph. Iwaka. They're all going to come down here and... I guess do what they gotta do. Unless he has to work somewhere else. I'm thinking when he goes to work. Yeah, he goes to work in two hours. Dang it. Dang it. You're gonna stay here. Sucks to be you. Where are you why are you still following them? No, you're not going with them. You work. You have a job to do. Sucks to be you. I'm surprised. No job offers have come up yet. Who is this? Oh, that's Havon. What even? What even? Okay, well, it'll just tell us when he has a job to do, so that's that's cool. Genesis, who are you talking to? You're sharing your secrets with a random stranger. That's nice. Nice to see you actually getting along with people. This morning, she was actually arguing with Joe, which was horrible. So, let's see. Let's try to be friendly with the people. We are going to um, try to be nice and friendly. We're not going to ask them how they feel about the resort, because we know they're going to definitely come complain about it and that's not fun um speak madness that's not gonna scare anybody away um shaka bra i want to see that are, are you guys gonna just oh the get to know feature always takes too long for nothing we're not gonna do that here we go, this is Shaka Bra. And voila, that is Shaka Bra. Who's complaining? Why? Why? And Tariq looks really, really close in appearance to Joe. Weird. What even? Oh, it's you who's complaining about everybody. Lady, get out. Burr. No one invited you. Actually, yeah, we did because we're having you stay here, but still, no one likes you. No one. No. Let me put the walls up for a second. I want to see. How do you actually have people stay in these rooms? Like, how do you charge them to stay in there? I really have no idea, so. It'd be nice to know if you guys know anything about that. As for you, who's working the thing over here? Why is he wearing that on his head? Boy, no. No, no, no. Dang it. Okay, well, we're gonna set... I don't want to lose so much money, but I don't want people to complain about the food here. So... Hire new... Well, let's hire a new employee, because he looks a little crazy, first off. I'm sorry, bro, but you can't wear that to work. You're fired. 
Mm hmm I told you. And then, of course, we get people with worse hair as options. Here, Anne Daly, thank you for having a nice hairstyle. We're gonna hire her. You've gotta go. Bye. Bye. He must be really afraid of the sun. I mean, the fact that he's wearing that really shady hat and then takes out an umbrella in this weather, like, I can't even. And then Bryn and Havon, of course, are just chilling together. Oh, of course they'd be. Nap on towel, put up umbrella. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, of course you're gonna get up as soon as I put up the umbrella. Right? Right, Bryn? Thanks. But let's see, we can have her swim here with group, go windsurfing, snorkel. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. We are going to go all the way over here and she is going to continue snorkeling to get her skill up. As for Genesis, she's eating at the buffet. Why did she bring her food all the way over here? Oh, she took stuff from the picnic basket. There's- you, you have food right here! Look at this beautiful food! Look at that dang- well no, this is fancy. They can't complain about our food now. Oh heck no. That is nice stuff right there. And I really hope there's a way to get people not to rest up here, because that's going to be really annoying. I can see it now. Okay, so we're going to go back to resort management. What was I going to look for? Reviews now. Let's see. I guess we're going to have to wait for people to do things, aren't we? Dang it. Kraken, Tanya. Re Kraken? Really? Really? That's horrible. That is horrible. So is the girl gonna come here to work soon or what? Looking forward to our worker being here. Oh, and now a girl wants something. Havon, you know. You're gonna have to come operate this. Oh, nope, nope, this, uh, she showed up. Girl, girl, you have to be here on time. Did anybody teach you that? Dang. So what is she gonna order? I wanna see what this lady's gonna get. And she got ice cream. Oh, well, you can buy ice cream here? Heck, Havon has got to get on that. Um, no, I want to I wanna buy something. Get food or drink. Okay, well. That sucks. I can't actually choose what I want. Oh, we can! Oh, yes! Okay, so we can get lemonade, tofu dog. I like the little paper cups. Oh my god, I'm so easily impressed. Um, paper cup. Oh, grilled cheese, cola. I think I'm gonna go with the lemonade though. Havon. D actually, that lemonade kind of looks like urine. That's nasty. Do you see that? Ew. That's nasty. That's nasty. And let's see. I think she's actually still swimming out to the snorkeling point. I don't think she started snorkeling yet. Yeah, she's still swimming out there. Oh gosh. You swim, girl. You swim. As for Joseph, we're still not getting any updates on his job. It says he's on the clock, but I haven't gotten any job offers. Is he supposed to be anywhere specifically? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, go survey the beach. Dang it, we had him stay home, and he doesn't even go to his job. Sucks to suck, Joseph. Sucks to suck. Alright, go. Run. Run there. You're already late for work. People probably died. He's gonna show up there and there's gonna be like 10 dead bodies like rolled up on the beach. And he's gonna be like, oh, oops, I'm sorry. I did not mean it. I did not mean. So there he goes. Run. Run like this is Baywatch. And you're, was it David Hasselhoff? David Hasselhoff. Run, boy, run. And he's here. He wants to buy a pool water slide for the resort. We can do that. Upgrade the resort towers when we have money. Yes, I don't see a problem. Where is he going? The beach is right here. Why is he hiding? <gasps> that someone's gonna die. He's go he gonna die. Who is this? Oh, she gonna die. You're gonna let the old woman die? Go rescue her. You are a pathetic excuse for a human being. Get down here. Run. Run. Rescue her. I really want to just put this in slow-mo so bad and can we take a moment and appreciate the the sunscreen he has lined on his face gotta love that gotta love that 
She's drowning. Go and save the woman. Oh, yeah, she's dead. She's gonna die. I love how they go underwater like they're dead already. And here he is. Save her. Grab her and get her out of the water. Do it. Or pass her that thing. Yeah, see, if that were me, that thing would have slid under my hands and I'd still be drowning. So he rescued her. Good, good. No one else is dying? Oh, this guy. This guy is going in here purposely to die. Like, you know. Yep, yep. What I say? <laughs> Seriously, you'd think people who live on this island, who are surrounded by water at all times, would know how to swim. Right? You would think. But no. What is he doing? I thought we already rescued her. We already rescued that old lady. I thought I was a goner there. Thanks for saving my life. Great. I don't care. We have to go save this man now. Oh, she's gonna pretend to die too. If you pretend to die too, I give up. I'm gonna quit. But whatever, he at least saved one life in his career. Seems like this is gonna be an easy lifetime wish to complete. Yep, yep, these- no, 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 hold up. That's too many people to save. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous rescue this is no just no oh don't start with me don't start no heck no this is so stupid no I can't I can't they're gonna die <laughs> I really hope they die no this is not my job this is not my job well it is but still this is so stupid if you start no oh my god <laughs> title of this episode everybody's dying this is so pathetic you'd think at least one out of the five people we saved today would know how to swim nope why do we have to get out of the water just go save the other chick what the heck they're gonna die oh they're gonna die they gonna die yeah th this guy is a goner I am in your debt thank you Oh, who gives two crabs? Go save the other chick. As for Bryn, let's see. She is level three in her scuba diving. So hopefully somewhere by our house there's a place we can actually scuba dive. And yeah. You are the worst lifeguard ever. I could have drowned, you clown. Not my fault you decide- this is I love how he just saved himself. He took out a boat out of his friggin' pocket. This is so stupid so stupid. I love how this girl's like 10 times more patient than him though because she started drowning first. What an idiot. I think they should release a patch in which you can, you know, actually save people while you're still in the water. Because the fact that he has to get out is really dumb. Like that kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, we're not rescuing that. Mm, anymore. But anyway, um, he's hungry. He is no- you're still on the clock? No, he has to eat, poor thing. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, well, sucks to be you. You'll head over to the resort, eat at the buffet. And, of course, Genesis' lazy self is in th this little thingy. Just freshening up for the night. Toggle room service is on. Good. Um, Britain's underwater eyes located a cowrie shell and it placed it in her inventory. Yay, we probably- I think we have that already. I put it on the desk in their house. That's cool. I like that. Buy a pool waterfall for your resort. Yes, because we have a pool. Buy a resort buffet table for your resort. We can do all of that eventually. Is anyone else drowning? Give CPR- Oh, we can't miss this. We are not missing this for the world. Meanwhile, she's just chilling. Reading a book. YOLO. Um... And there we go. He saved her. Great. She totally did that on purpose. She, This girl totally did on purpose. What's your name? Carly Goldberg. Oh, oh, did I hear that little attraction thing? Oh, what? What? Okay, well, he, he's not hungry anymore. Um, he's gonna talk to her. Ask about alma mater. Friendly, boast about being a lifeguard. Friendly. Get to know. 
And then we're gonna we're gonna invite her out. We are going to form a friggin' group. And they're gonna get food. And they're gonna enjoy it. So that's enough snorkeling. You're gonna go not home. You could eat at the buffet. That's like the easiest way to do it, right? So go here. Visit the cruise place. He's hungry too. So he's gonna go there. And then Genesis, of course, is in the best mood ever. I can just have all of them freshen up, right? Oh yeah, everyone, go freshen up, what the heck? He's the only one who's not gonna be coming on down here to the resort. But other than that, okay. Let's see, so... Are there any new ratings in? I love how impatient I am. I just like want to see good resort ratings. Like, now. Like, OMG. I'll go see resort ratings now. Uh, but still, we're not getting anything that different. Great. Great, great. So, there goes Bryn. Gonna go freshen up as well. Havon is already freshening up. That, that brings up the hunger, right? Yeah, it just pretty much brings up all their moves. Dang. I'm gonna buy this and put it in, like, all of my games. Doesn't matter. I don't care if it's not a resort law. I'm gonna put it on my house law and I'm gonna have them use that. Who needs anything else, right? And as soon as he's done with that, did he already fix the sink? Yo, oh, yeah, he did. Someone fixed it. So he's gonna go in here. Let's see. What's his handiness skill? Does he already have one? Yup. So we're gonna have him tinker with the sink. And she agreed to hang out. Yes. Freaking awesome. So he's gonna use the bathroom and then they're actually gonna head out to eat. Where's the restaurant in this town? We have one right here, but it's kind of ghetto. <laughs> the diner. What does it look like? What, I want to see what these lots actually look like. So, oh, this is so cute! The colorful places that I was talking about in the first part. The colorful architecture. I like it. I like it. We are going to have him eat here with his group, and then Diner, get drinks with this group. Just get both, he may as well. As for Bryn, she's still hungry. All oh, the freshening up doesn't bring it up that much. It does something, but it's not all that great. So you guys are gonna go over here and get your food. She's going to dine with both of them. So Havon and I don't see why Genesis is not an option right now. Alright, well, whatever. They can eat together and then Genesis can just be weird. And dine as well, by herself. See, she has the option to dine with Bryn and have one, so I'm gonna choose that one instead. There. And they're all gonna go eat. So we have, like, a lot of people here, actually. I am surprised. Seems like people are actually enjoying our resort. Honestly, this resort, no matter how weird and kind of shabby it is, I would still enjoy this more than staying home and doing nothing. Like, I would enjoy this. I'm still on the beach. I would specifically rent out this room for myself, actually. And I would just sit there and enjoy myself. I don't care how it looks. It's on the beach. There's food. I can't complain. Maybe if they added a pool, it would be a little better. But we're getting to that. And look at that. Dang, she scarfed down that food fast. And she's going to go get up to get more, which is one of the features that came with the buffet. Awesome. She's going to go do that. I hate the brightness of these lights. Auto lights. Oh, uh, set intensity, dim this light. Oh, it's already set on dim. Don't like that. Ew. Could someone tell this child? to like get up and that's not a place to lay down like no heck no and now they're like you know what screw this outside shabby thing but we're gonna go into the formal and this guy with the really creepy mustache is trying to hit on Rin that's always nice he's laughing at Havon there's nothing funny about Havon unless you want to die 
Like, don't start. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Um, okay, is there anything else we can do? I think there's a... How is he doing with this girl on his date? Stay for dessert. That's classy. Give her a treat. Oh, her name's Carly. Have I been calling her Katie? I think I've been calling her Katie. Awkward. Anyway, she's gonna go home. Havona's gonna go home. Genesis is gonna stay around a little longer because she's still in a decent mood. Continue to run things a little bit more around here. Who is supposed to be working at the front desk? Why aren't they there right now? What even? It doesn't look like he's actually anywhere on this lot. Okay, we'll have to hire a new one. There's Earl Custer and the- Wow. Maybe he's on an eating break? I don't even know. That's ghetto. Well dang. But anyway, um, I think, I'm thinking this is actually a good place to end the part. I think we saw a lot today. We saw some of the snorkeling. We saw a little bit on running the resort. A little bit on also wound. <laughs> There's a mermaid. Oh, we saw a little bit about the mermaids and their swimming abilities. Are you going to swim under the dock? That's cool too. Alright. Alright. Well, I mean, you could do that too. We saw a little bit on mermaids, we saw a little bit on lifeguarding. I think we've seen quite a lot today. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in part four. I'll probably get this part up later tonight, knowing how I'm not gonna have time to edit this now. And goodbye if I can find the end button. There we go.